Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, Sweet Dreams box Scotch Pond that came out Thursday, May 25th after the maintenance and is going on until Thursday, June 22nd before the maintenance. So the gotcha price is the same as usual. And each box comes with a Baltane crystal. So here are the random Baltane crystals that you can get. And now let's actually look at the actual items. So the wings. So from left to right, we have the Sweet Dreams Cloud Wings right here. And we have the Sweet Dreams Night Wings. And the Sweet Dreams Candy Wings. And the Sweet Dreams Sky Wings, so these ones. I can barely tell the difference between the cloud wings and the candy wings. They look very similar. I guess the candy, the Sweet Dreams candy wings are slightly darker, but not by very much. They're almost exactly the same. And then, of course, they have special outfits in this, which is not good, but... There's the Special Dreams Lightweight PJs for male, and the Special Sweet Dreams Lightweight PJs for female. So here's the male outfit on the left, and the female outfit on the right. And then we also have the Special Sweet Dreams Cozy PJs for male on the left, and the special Sweet Dreams Cozy PJs for female on the right. So I guess the difference between these two is the, uh, the Sweet Dreams light PJs have uh, shorter pants or shorter skirt, and the Sweet Dreams Cozy PJs have longer pants and a longer skirt. And there are the idle animations, too. And then, of course, they also have these outfits without the idle animations thrown in there. And then all the random accessories, like the gloves and the shoes. And then special effects. So we have Spirit Transformation Liquor Paw Print Nebula. So I'm guessing that's this one. And then we have Spirit Transformation Liquor Holy Light. That's this one here. And it's showing you both what it looks like when you're just standing around and what it looks like when you actually hit an enemy. And then we have the Spirit Transformation Liquor Unrelenting Flame. So this gotcha list is actually kind of small for once. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like... I mean, there aren't as many items. There's no face accessories There's n or anything like that. Let's take a look at the items and rates. There's no chairs or homestead items this time. Let's see what the items and rates says. You should always look at the items and rates. Oh, that's a big reason to make people play this crappy gotcha. Throw in a black bag coupon, which is a 10 by 17 inventory bag. Meaning it would give you like 170 inventory slots. It also has fleet feet for male and female. You have a 0.11% chance of getting these three items. These are not new items, but they are fairly valuable because a fleet feet boosts your movement speed by 10%. And the black bag is a really big inventory bag to have. Okay, so now let's actually look at these items in the auction house and see how much gold they're going for. So we'll start with the wings. So let's take a look at the Sweet Dreams Cloud Wings first. Okay, so these wings are going for 3 mil 500,000, 3 mil 777,000, 4 mil, 5 mil. Let's see how they look. 
So that's what these wings look like. Yeah, we have lots of wings that look like that. These aren't anything special. Overall, I'm not really impressed with these wings, but at the same time, they're not insanely overpriced. I think that anything from three and a half to four mil is perfectly fine for these wings, honestly. Like, that's a good deal. Even the wings going on, on sale for five mil are not that bad. And let's look at the uh, Sweet Dreams Nightwings next. Okay, so here's the Sweet Dreams Nightwings. So these are going for 4 mil 200,000, 4 mil 400,000, 4 mil 700,000. Okay, and these are these are black wings. So it looks better with the white background to preview it. So yeah, these wings are not that bad. Like, out of all of the new wings, I would probably go with the uh, Sweet Dreams Night Wings. Just because, like, they look good. They probably look the best. And they're under 5 mil, so that's not bad. And let's take a look at the Sweet Dreams Candy Wings next. Okay, these ones are going for 2 mil, 3 mil, 500,000, 3 mil, 500,000, 2 mil, 500,000. And one going for 15 mil. So two to three and a half mil. That's not bad. Let's take a look at them. Yeah, honestly, these, uh, the Sweet Dreams candy wings do not look much different from the Sweet Dreams cloud wings to me. Like, yeah, they look a little bit different. Maybe they look a little bit like slightly more pink. Whereas the uh, Sweet Dreams cloud wings are a little bit more white. But overall, they look pretty much the same. So, I mean, if I were to pick between the two, I would get these wings, the Sweet Dreams Candy Wings, because they are a little bit cheaper than the Sweet Dreams Cloud Wings. And let's take a look at the uh, Sweet Dreams Sky Wings next. Okay, so I actually, I don't know how much these are going for because they are not on sale right now. So yeah, all the wings, like, I, I don't think the wings are very good. I think we have way too many wings in this game already. Uh, but overall, I don't think the wings are overpriced. I think the prices for the wings are just fine, despite how unappealing they look. And next, let's take a look at the uh, outfits. So we'll look at the... Special Sweet Dreams Lightweight PJs first. So we'll look at the Special Sweet Dreams Lightweight PJs for male first. And there's only one of these on sale right now, and it's going for 15 mil. Let's preview that. Change the background. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Oh, well, at least it goes okay with them if you have a tail. There are a lot of outfits that don't look good with tails. At least this one does. I'm not really a fan of it, but like... I can see why some people might want this outfit, and it's okay. It's not bad. And 15 mil is a fairly reasonable price, I think. Like, this is a new outfit. The gotcha pawn has, hasn't even been out quite a week yet. And 15 mil isn't too unreasonable for a special outfit with an idle animation for something this new. Like, usually new male outfits sell for between, like, 20 and 30 million gold. Or, or sometimes slightly more, depending on what they are. That's not too bad. Let's take a look at the female outfit. Okay, the female outfit is way overpriced. Big surprise there. Uh, the female outfits are usually way more expensive than the male ones. So the special Sweet Dreams lightweight PJs for female is going for 110 mil or 119 mil. That's way too much. So what would be a good price for this outfit, like realistically, based on what the outfit looks like and how new it is? Well, I guess if people really want the outfit, I guess... 
like 50 to 60 mil would be a fairly reasonable price for it given how new it is. Uh, from just looking at it, personally, I wouldn't pay any more than, like, 50 mil max for this outfit, even if I really wanted it. So, yeah, this needs to drop in price. It'll, it'll probably drop in, in price. It'll probably drop down to about 80 mil in the next, like, two weeks. And then, like, after a month or two, it'll probably drop down to, like, 50, 60 mil. And next, let's take a look at the other outfits, which is the Special Sweet Dreams Cozy PJs. So we'll look at the Special Sweet Dreams Cozy PJs for male first. Oh wow, these are even cheaper than the other ones. These are going for 9 mil. The other one was going for like 15 mil. And it basically looks the same as the uh, lightweight PJs. Uh, the only difference is that the pants are longer for this one. Personally, I think the longer pants looks better with this outfit. And 9mm is a pretty good price considering it's a new outfit with an idle animation. And let's take a look at the special Sweet Dreams cozy PJs for female next. Okay, so this is a much better price than the uh, lightweight PJs were. The lightweight ones were like 110, 119 mil. But yeah, this is a much better price. Like like I said, like uh, about about 50 to 60 mil is, is what is the maximum I would pay for the lightweight version of this outfit. And this is about what it is. It's about 40 to 60 mil. And the only difference between this outfit and the other one is the skirt is a little bit longer on this outfit. But other than that, the rest of it looks the same. The idle animation is the same. So I don't think 40 mil is an unreasonable price, considering this is a new outfit. And female outfits are usually more expensive than male ones in most cases for these gachapons. So yeah, I think uh, if you're looking to get like the uh, special Sweet Dreams outfits for female, go for the cozy ones. Because they're going, there are three of them for 40 mil right here. And even this 45 mil one isn't that bad. And now let's take a look at the uh, non-special outfits. The ones without the idle animations. So the Sweet Dreams Cozy PJs for female is going for 5 mil. And this one doesn't have the idle animation, so if you want to get this outfit cheap, then buy the one without the idle animation. And there are a few, like, uh, weapon items that you can hold that can give uh, outfits idle animations. And let's take a look at the Sweet Dreams... Lightweight PJs. So, the Sweet Dreams Lightweight PJs without the idle animation for male is going on sale for 800,000 gold and 1 million gold. And the Sweet Dreams Lightweight PJs for female without the idle animation is going for about 6 to 8 mil gold. So there isn't really that much in the Scotchapon, so personally I don't really think it's worth, like, buying. I think that if you want anything from the Scotchapon, you're better off spending gold on it to save money. Because all this really has is just some crappy wings and some special outfits. The only major incentive that they're giving you to buy this is putting the black bag coupon in here and the fleet feet coupon uh, and the fleet feet items in here. Seems like a desperate way to get people to buy it. But overall, I don't think the Scotchapon is really worth it. But yeah, that's the uh, Sweet Dreams Scotchapon.